we tend to fall into this trap about talking about the downside or the negative aspects of risk. And to a business person, risk is opportunity. And if we can start talking about the upside, I think there is uh, a lot more, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to get their attention and a lot easier for people to understand kind of why should I invest in security? You know, in the old world, it was if you do your job right, nothing happens. Whereas in the new world, it's about demonstrating the ability for security to help drive innovation and to drive availability and drive competitive advantage and really enable the business. It's like the year 2000 bug. You got, they got all of this money to fix the year 2000 issues. Nothing happened. And the, and the managers came back and said, nothing happened. What did we spend all the money on? So there's, there's a lack of understanding there to, to say, well, yeah, but nothing happened because we spent the money money and there's this uh, communication issue there. Security traditionally came from a very technical background. So the number of leaders that you will find in, in security is they have a good technical background. But often problem we face is we, we forget about the business people don't understand technology that well. And we need to understand the language they speak. We need to understand the way they would like to be communicated. So they understand numbers. They understand a business language which is around cost, profitability, you know, how we are adding value to them. And that becomes really, really important. Technicians are very often, they're in their little pigeonhole. They don't understand how the rest of the business would work. So they, they know what happens within the areas that they communicate with. But as an entirety, they don't understand the goals of the business. I often ask the attendees how many people have actually read the annual report of the, the, the organization they run for. And I would say 3 to 5% will show their hands. And then I'll ask the same question, uh, well, another question would be how many people are familiar with the business plan or what the business is going to be doing in the next three to five years. And I would say if I get 1% or 2% putting their hands up, it's, 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 it's a success. And therein lies the problem. We don't know what the business is doing. So how can we go to the business and sell something or market something to the business to say this is going to help your business if we don't understand what the business is all about. So you need to find ways to be more efficient and innovative and in some case actually return money back to the business. If you have been given a budget, if you can bring some efficiencies and return some money back to the business, that builds the trust, that builds the credibility and executives see you as a business person who's working in the interest of the organization. You just can't run in and say the sky is falling, if you don't patch this system or don't buy that solution, we're, we're, we're going to be insecure. You know, define what insecure means. To find what a security breach or potential breach could have to the business, but don't scaremonger. If you can get hard data, so look back at, uh, at, at the history you have. How many breaches have you had, if you have had any? What cost to the business have they been? Try and put some cost around them. I think visualization of data is very important to show what you are doing in terms of articulating that in terms of data and showing the dashboard to the business is really, really important because that makes it presentable, that makes it understandable. Otherwise, we may be doing something in our dungeon for last one year and without telling anyone, nobody would understand why what we are doing, why we are doing it, what value it has brought to the company. And next year when you go and ask for the budget, people will be thinking, what is it for? We haven't seen it, we don't know about it. Security people should go and find the the best marketing people in their business and actually find out what has made them the best marketing people in the business. Find out how they do things and how they sell things because ultimately that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to sell something which I suppose our selling point is it might reduce your chances of being hacked and you need to give me lots of money uh, for, for us to do that. It's, it's a tough sell. Having a quick and easy way to consume information is important, and we find that executives respond really well to kind of easy to digest means of communication. So up, down, graphs, trending over time, red, yellow, green status, and things like that. So at a glance, they can figure out if everything's okay. You know, is there anything I should worry about? If not, I'm fine, I'll move on. If there is something, like I see something red that wasn't red before, I'm going to start asking questions around that. And it's a good way to, without exposing too much detail, to get them to focus on where the issues really are. And what we find is that, um, you know, there's a lot going on in the business. You can't really take a lot of time providing raw data because it requires a lot of interpretation. So interpret it for them, present the findings, give it to them consistently so that week in, week out, they see the same view of this. And you can really go a long way to changing the level of discussion you have. Focus on the impact it's likely to have on the business and put it in the context of risk, 
in language that the audience that they're speaking to will understand. And that audience at the board level is different from the management level, it's different from the operational level, it's different from, you know, the general staff level as well. Different people need to see completely different things. They will understand it differently, its relevance is different, and I think that's very important that, you know, they have to uh, tailor things t to the audience. In any relationship, if two people are sitting on either side of the table and no one is making the effort to talk, that talk will never happen and that, that relationship is doomed. So therefore we have to be the ones to be reaching out. We are the ones with the knowledge, we are the ones with the expertise in that area and we should be getting from the business what they want.